Hey guys, so I just, um, so I just want to share you, with you something very important, uh, another dream I had. Um, I had this dream a couple, you know, days ago, uh, two days, about two days ago I had this dream, and, um, you know, I always pray before I go to bed, and I, and I decided, you know, I want to share this with you guys, and I hope you guys really take this video seriously, and this is not to put any fear into any people, but this is to warn you of what's, um, of what's to come in the future for, you know, people that don't accept Christ, um, because there's a lot of souls that are not being saved in today's generation, and as we can see in the last days, it's not going great, the spiritual realm is getting crazier than ever, so, so this dream I had was of hell, and I, and these are the souls up there, so in this dream, you know, I see, it's, the, the room is black or something, like, it's black and dark, and I see a door, and I see these souls, um, being pushed, uh, are, are being pushed into this door, but they had, they don't want to go in this door because they knew it was hell, they did, they, they knew it was a hole to hell, and they did not want to go in that hole, and they were trying to, so hard to refuse, but they couldn't because there was no other option for them to just go into the store because, you know, their state has been, uh, their fate has been sealed, their judgment has been set, so there is no way they can avoid going through this door. So they were in, so they were pushed into this door. There's some force, there was like a force, um, being, uh, a, a force pushing them into this door, uh, into this black hole. And this is a hole to, uh, and this is a pitch black, a uh, black hole that I saw. I couldn't really see it, but I knew there was a hole they were going into and it was very pitch black. Um, it was a very deep hole. And, you know, as they, f and, um, they, it looked like they were on top of some, I don't know where they were on but like which area they were at but it looked like they were this is how it looked like in my dream and they were just going into the store into this black hole and then this is um the dream and then after that they fell and this is where i saw um i was here this was me on this side like just observing um i was like i, I went to hell it's god gave me like uh, a, 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 a few minutes of experience of how it feels um, and I felt like I was being sprayed with water and it was very hot like it felt hot because in the dream it felt very hot and I knew it was just hell I just knew automatically it was hell um, but it felt like but it was very hot and this is a uh, uh, this is hell and this is like fire this is the door in hell um, full of fire and there's people these are the souls being consumed um, with fire and uh, the place is hell, but and there's different areas, you know. And but the place is the whole place is still hot, even if they're not like literally in the fire. Fire, um, it's still the place is still very hot and dark. And I still felt felt I still felt very hot down there. And I can I felt like I was being sprayed with water. Um, I think God was just spraying me with water or something. Uh, I'm just there as an observer to like know the feel of it. Um, cause God gives me these, gives me these experiences so I can tell you guys and know what, you know, it, what's down there to warn you guys so you won't go there after you die. Um, so these are the souls that fell and they were trying to find a way to escape, but they couldn't, they were trying to look for any way to escape. But like, cause when I was down there and I was observing, it felt like I wanted to just leave automatically. I didn't want to be there because I know because the feeling of it being there, it's like it's like eternity. It's like you're been there forever, and it's not a good feeling, and um, it's a scary feeling. And then I saw, and this is what I saw: I full of fire, full of souls of fire, being completely consumed, and it was very very hot. I can feel the intensity of the hotness of hell, and even it's like no matter where you go, go, it's like it's still hot. The place is so dark and it's very hot. It's very black. Everywhere it was black. It, it was hard to see everywhere. Um, I hope you guys can get a full picture of it. But yeah. But it's still very, um, very hot. And it's like, and because and, and, I've been to hell, uh, like maybe a, a very a few times, not all the time, but like I think twice I went to hell. I visited hell. Because I was always curious of the feeling of it, too. Like, okay, what, like, because I know other people have their experience of what hell is and stuff and what they saw. Um, there's a lot of different areas in hell. And there's a lot of torments going on, uh, creatures down there. Um, and, you know, it's not a good feeling 
to go here. It's not at all. And it's not to scare you guys, but I want you guys to really take this seriously. And this is not some joke. I don't make these videos for no reason. I'm not making these. Because if I never had any of these experiences, I would never make any of these videos. You know? I never made these videos before. And I was never, um, you know. I, I had, I made YouTube before, but like. Ever since I started having these pers personal experiences, I wanted to share them with you guys. So you guys can know the truth of what is down in hell. And there's a lot more to it in hell than what is just seen in the Bible. There's a lot of mysteries in the Bible. The, the scriptures, there's a lot of mysteries in the scriptures. And there's more to it. Because, you know, we were not, we were, all of us were not there back then. Like, what happened? There's a lot more that happened. There's a lot of mysteries. You know, and that's why it's always good to ask God questions. And um, for any kind of questions you guys have. We, may, we will never know every single little detail of everything. Because our minds are so limited of knowledge, because we have to seek for knowledge, we have to ask God for wisdom and knowledge and understanding. So, um, and sometimes not everybody always um, comprehends to that uh, to the deepest extent. So, um, I, that's why it's so important to ask God for wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And I just wanted to give you a few verses. Um, and it says in Matthew chapter ten, verse twenty-eight, and it says, "Fear not them which kill the body." but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So when you're in hell, your body is just consumed and destroyed. You can't, you can't, there's no way out. It's the worst feeling ever. It's nothing like, it's the worst kind of punishment. And, you know, God intended to make this for, you know, the devil and his angels that fell. Because they disobeyed and because, and there remains no other sacrifice. They can't just... And the reason why you can't repent, um, like it's too late to repent when you're in hell because there's no other sacrifice for you now. That's it. You know, only there's, there are only there's only one sacrifice on earth and that is Jesus Christ. There's a chance on earth. Since you're alive, you have a chance. Because you're entering not... Because when you're in the spiritual realm, you're entering into... When you're... You're entering into a place of eternity. You know, eternity, and there's no other sacrifice. Only God is. Only Jesus Christ is the only way, through God. Because you can't have access to the Father if you don't have Jesus. Because God's intentions was for mankind to come back to Him, to be drawn back to Him. But not everybody is gonna. And I understand that not everybody's gonna believe. Unfortunately, not everyone's gonna think. You know do the will of god unfortunately you know it's sad feeling about it it's a sad feeling and sometimes it makes me cry because i do want people to go to heaven i do want people to be saved i do want souls i don't want people to have any regrets in their life i don't want people to look back because you know you could probably look back on this video and you know and probably not like probably make up some assumptions and stuff like oh okay i'm probably doing this for views or something or i'm probably doing this for whatever reason people always have excuses and this is not like i i am tired of the you know excuses i'm tired of, you know i don't i want people to be saved and it hurts because it hurts when people don't really um believe in the lord jesus and know the truth because a lot of people lot like are trying to find their true purpose in this life and what is this world really about like okay why do people have dreams or where did we get all this knowledge from or where did we get all you know all these things ideas from and stuff yeah we have creative thoughts and stuff but like there's more to it in this earth than what meets the eye like what is seen you know there is a lot more to this earth and you know, I want people to know the truth of why people go through these things or why is why is there knowledge of good and evil? It makes so much sense, you know, as the Bible describes of the knowledge of good and evil, you know, because we do have the knowledge of good and evil. We all have the knowledge of good and evil. We're aware of what evil is and what good is. Um, but I hope this and I hope this and uh, I'm just going to read one more scripture to you guys. Um so in Revelation chapter 20, verse 15, uh, and it says, And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So hell is, people, so when people go to hell, they're there forever until they are uh, thrown into the lake of fire. Um, so you're there for eternity. This is a place of, this is in, uh, a prison, basically, in hell. But it's, a, it's, not like a, a, it's not like a regular prison on earth. It's not like those prisons. 
it's like you know hell is a place where there's torment and fire it's hot it there's no there's no peace no love there's no joy down there there's no hope it's all gone and i feel bad for those that you know went there for like for such a lifetime i don't know how many years um, but like there's so many people passing away today or tomorrow or next week and they're probably and there's some people in this world that are probably gonna are not saved but are probably gonna die who knows tomorrow and we don't know and I care about your souls and I care about my soul too because I want I want I don't want to I want to I don't want to face God on I want because when I face God on judgment day I I don't want there to be any regrets i don't want you know i don't want god looking at me saying like you know what did he do for me you know god is going to be judging us and you know what on what we did with this life and this life is temporarily you know this life everything dies you know everything not everything in this wor world dies it's temporarily this world is not eternal and that's what people need to understand because you know and I know people, there's a lot of discussions, you know, debates about, oh, if there's a God or not. Like, if every human on this earth were to die, who would, how can the earth continue? Who made this earth anyways? You know what I mean? Who made all the trees and birds and all the little bugs that we don't see in a daily basis? You know, there's a lot more to this earth. There is a lot more. It's like such an illusion or something. I look at my, I look at my body and how it's like, it's like a shell. And and and, I, and how is it that how's it possible that I'm talking? Like we are made up of bones and skeletons, and how is it possible that we're talking? And you know why do people have a subconsciousness? It makes so much sense. You know, it's the and the subconsciousness is the, is the unseen um, thing. You know, we don't see our subconsciousness, but we do have a subconsciousness because you know when we dream, it's part of our subconsciousness, and we see creatures, spirits, we're spirits, so obviously we would see spirits that talk and stuff. But like you don't, you have to be careful what you're opening yourself up to, you know, because you don't, you don't want to open yourself up to a demonic portal or anything like that. You know, you don't want to give the enemy access into your life. You have to be very careful. You know, because their job is to make sure that you stay in sin and that you die and go to hell. That's their job. They don't care about anybody. They don't care about anyone whatsoever. Because they lost their place in heaven. They lost their place. There was no more place for them after they were casted out. That was it. They mentioned that in the uh, Bible. Um, there was no more place for them. After when that battle in heaven, there was no more place for them. That was it. And there was no other sacrifice for them because God is the only way. What other, what, what can God do to get their attention? God is the only way. No, Jesus is the only way. There was no other sacrifice. Before Jesus, you know, before Jesus uh, came on earth, you know, there was no other sacrifice for, you know, the devil and his angels. So that's why, and then since they rebelled and sinned against the Lord, they were cast into hell. Until they are, are thrown into the lake of fire. And plus their judgment is already sealed now. And it's too late. And and that's why God wants his um, precious, you know, creation to the humans to really repent. We got to really repent and get to know the Lord for ourselves. So I hope this um, video has been a blessing to you guys. Um, you know, sometimes my dreams don't make sense all the time, but I know enough to know that, like, I know what I feel. Like, I always ask God to help me discern in dreams because even when I'm dreaming, sometimes I don't understand certain things I see. So I ask God to give me discernment when I'm dreaming as well. Like, give me discernment. Okay, what does this mean, you know? So I can know what I'm dealing with because I don't know everything that I see in the spiritual realm. I don't I don't I don't see I'm 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 in human flesh. I don't see everything. I'm not in spirit form. I don't see everything in the spirit every single day of my life. But I'm trying to walk in the spirit more and I want you and, and it's good to walk in the spirit and I want you guys to really um you know get to know Christ and I hope you know continue repentance um you know to continue to be right with the Lord and you know to ask him if this is the direction that you want to go in. Um, so, and ask for discernment too. That's the biggest thing I ask for is discernment, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So I can have a better way of explaining, you know, you know, to you guys what I'm dreaming and stuff and the things I'm learning. I'm learn. I have a lot to learn. I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. We will never get every single little thing right all the time, but we just have to continue to ask God for guidance. 
and for the right pe and and to ask God to uh find uh to let in the right people in our lives to guide us into the right direction because we need each other during these times and we really need the Lord Jesus Christ. So, and I'm doing this all for the glory of God. I'm doing this for him. I'm doing this for you guys. I want you guys to be saved. But anyways, uh, take care and God bless.